What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Vintage Cube Hour. Three out of eight. It's going to be a while. We've got, a, got our work cut out for us right here. What are you? Not you. Is it literally just like a... Fascinating. What if I pull it this way? Oh, 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 that did it. Nice. Good job, me. God, I'm so fucking smart when it comes to curtains and, you know, things. I'm basically your curtain daddy. Four out of eight, huh? Four out of eight. Easy 3-0. I am due. I agree with you, man. I agree with you. I definitely agree with you. We'll see. I got some fruit snacks. Thank you. I was getting to witness some spaghetti toucher. Thank you for the resub, my dude. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Every time. Every time. You guys got this fruit snack wrapper ASMR going on. Two more people. Kind of did it. I mean, I don't want to pass with mana drain, but I'm not passing a soul ring, so. Big Chewy Nerds. Oh man, we got Treachery and we got Mind Twist. Both of those are top tier. Man, man oh man. Yeah, Metal Worker Sewing and Mana Drain are all lots of mana. It's true. It was a candy I saw at the store and I was like, I like nerds, why not try them out? I was very much disappointed. Danted step build a deck that uses token creatures attacking with swords equipped preferred coloration white red or black thank dude you are awesome man thank you all right so we have like a mardu swords token step all right i'm gonna take treachery here haven't i watched you enough on youtube today the answer is no the answer is no i think it's just rakdos signet here that keeps us nice and open let me go open that stipulation and see what we actually got going here if I could teach the world to sing perfect. Isn't that the song at the end of Mad Men? Isn't that the ad Don Draper is alluded to creating? All right. Could take Force of Negation here, actually. As soon as I said Force of Negation, the Urchai is like, I like Rakdos Signet. I'm taking Force. Force is just good. I just want to counter things, guys. I don't think that's... I don't think that makes me a bad person. Grave Tights. Jace B. Kiki J. Alright, hold on one second. I gotta close this real quick. Open this. Make sure it doesn't open. Alright. I gotta open my secret notes and hope they don't open in the thing. I have no idea what this is. I think it's Kiki Jiki Jace or Grave Titan. Force is one another percent of the Kirk Okay, that's good to hear. 
I think it's just Jace beat. Like, I have no incentive to go on different... <sighs> Kiki, though. I'm taking Kiki. I think the upside on Kiki is way too high. And now we can get a Flooded Strand, a Narset, or a Chandra. Hmm. My son is just babbling and dropped an N-bomb. That is awkward. Yikes. Deter that, my dude. Yikes. I think Chandra's better than Narset for sure. Uh, I'm going to take Arab Mesa here. We just passed Flooded Strand, so... I definitely want to land. That uh, can get us our colors. If I could teach the world to sing in perfect harmony... Build like these are token creatures attacking with swords equipped. Preferred color direction white, red, black. Easy enough. Well, nothing here is exciting at all. Baral, maybe? I mean, Blood Crypt is versatile. You playing Luigi tonight? Maybe, to maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It was actually. It's pretty fun. I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit. I think it's... I don't even know, man. <clears throat> Let's take the Blood Crypt. We'll keep ourselves open. Mike sucks at it, like, really bad. Wow, really? Explain. Explain your take. Fire and ice is pretty nice. Ancient grudge, if we took breeding pool, would be better. P and Karen LR, late Dark Confidant. Not early enough to fulfill the Cabal and Stip. I'm going to take Fire and Ice. Being able to cast both sides is really where you want to be. So, that's where we are. Fatal Push, Firebolt, Frantic Search. Ugh, God, I don't love Frantic Search. <clears throat> I think it's just, I guess it's just fire. I mean, it's probably Frantic Search, even though I don't like it. Sure. It digs. It's free. Whatever. <laughs> yep, that's nice. Take Dark Slick Shores. And Cinerate. Actually, Resto's pretty good, right? We got Kiki Jiki. Well, I'm enjoying this. This is fun. Oh, man. The amount of time it was just screwing around collecting coins. I'm just like, dude, play the fucking game, man. Hold on a second. All right, we wrangle the dogs. Perfect harmony. This guy's actually fine.
Oh. Mox Sapphire, my dude. Definitely taking that. Man, Teferi seems great here, too. We could take this Sacred Foundry, but, like, it's sad because we have a Blood Crypt and a Dark Slick Shores, which leans us more towards... Jeskai. <sighs> I think we're just taking Remand here. Get that fucking advertisement off the pickable cards. Wow. Or you could just relax, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I can only see 60% of the 15th pick. What will I do? I don't know. I think you'll be fine. Solemn seems good. I like Time Warp, but we don't, like... For five mana, I'm not, like, super into it. I also don't, like... I don't mind Plateau. Never gonna relax. Well, that is your, that is your choice. I guess. <laughs> well, that's that was awkward. I don't think we're a Tinker deck. We have a Mox and a Soul Ring, but that's it. I think we're just wandering, wandering, fumaroling, huh? Seems fine. Oh, man, Water Grave, another land. That lends itself to Grixis. Um, well, I think like if we're playing white, these are just great additions. I also like a braid. A braid actually seems pretty decent here. It just kills an artifact, which we don't actually have a ton of yet. We also passed ancient grudge and like wear tear. Shut so. up and take my money. Live in peace now that you're ready. <laughs> oh my God, Badger! I fucking love you, dude. You are a saint. Among men. Uh, I'm going to take a braid. <clears throat> Where are the other pieces? Trigger Mage actually seems decent. We have Soul Ring and Mock Sapphire so far. Probably better than Chain Lightning, right? It gets you a free card. It seems decent. Where are my Reese's Pieces? So you can get Yorion. I don't think Yorion is super excited. Super excited? Exciting? I mean, the, the other alternative is like Empty the Warrens, Ravages of War, Celestia Signet, which is kind of meh. Take Yorion. Preordain? Flame Tongue? This is a late sneak attack, dude. I kind of just like taking the sneak attack because its value is so high. Do you recall the Chuck E. Cheese members? Obviously. There's Rat Fink, Pizza Face, Pepperoni Pizza Face, Nightmare Spider, and Jimbo the Sarcophagus. Man, everybody knows that. Maybe the Mox Pearl Wheel. Yeah, we could hope. What if Foothills gets Plateau? It's not terrible. Kind of like Golos here, though. If we get a Greenland, actually, Golos is just really good.
Gullus does feel like it goes in every deck. What's the hold up here? Badger, dude, you are awesome. I appreciate you, buddy. I guess I can change. Oh, Sacred Foundry. Sure. Let's make these white sources easier. Can we get like one uh, blue red land? That'd be great. Rocking around the Christmas tree. Oh, happy holiday. Sphinx's Rev doesn't seem terrible with Soul Ring, Mox. Wish that Mana Drain wheeled. That would be sweet. Badger Dude, is that my superhero name? I feel like that's a pretty bad name because everyone would be like, Hey, that's just RPG Badger. It really... It's a little too on the nose, you know? Uh, zero, 08. 31. S start your engines. All right, well. Thank you. I'll take that late ass run at six. Shoo, Gardner. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. I like to say welcome back, even though you guys never really went anywhere. They were never, they were never gone. Oh, rat train, huh? Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> <sighs> Welcome back. I'm just going to take Grimlock Mancer here. Grimlock Mancer is sideboardable, I suppose. I was actually hoping that chain lightning would come back. That's pretty sweet. I don't know. It's actually pretty good. And we have another pack left. So. <sighs> we have black fixing for Golos. We just need green fixing for Golos. Shut up and take my money. Oh, something's happening. Oh boy, I don't know what this is. Hold on, hold on. Empty the Warrens can go here. Do 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 do. Philly Dilly, little big boys. Color doesn't matter. Must draft cards that are aren't that are considered small and do big stuff, or small cards that can bigger. Uh, example, Astral Recall. I don't know what that card is. I don't even think that's a real card. I think you just made up a card. I'm gonna let me save this guy. Oh, ancestral recall. Okay. I was like, astral recall. Is that a creature? And. Got it, got it, got it. All right. A one mana small boy that does big boy stuff by drawing a lot of cards. <laughs> All right, that'll do. That'll do. All right, what do we got here? We got sneak attack and we can get through the breach here, but like, 
We have nothing yet to like do with it. I kind of just want to take through the breach just in case. Just in case. Just in case that Ulamog walks by. We have Glenelendra, which is just great. Thank you. Arctic Avenger with a gifted sub, my dude. Thank you, buddy. Just dropping by to say hi. Oh, that's it? You're all done? That's messed up. What an absolute tease. Do, 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 It's either through the Breacher Glen or Boros Signal, I guess. Oh, Arctic Avenger, enjoy your visit, buddy. Tell your friends I said what up. I like through the breach, man. I'm gonna take through the breach and I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed for a big fat daddy like this guy. We could also just play Demonic Tutor. <laughs> also, Jace, Hollow Fountain, and Coalition Relic are all very, very good. Dang it. I think it's Coalition Relic, especially with Golos. I can't take that. I can't take a Blight Steel. Dude, that, that Ulamog has killed me a bunch of times. And everyone's hard casting it. Sad thing is, well, I guess we still have Resto Kiki. That's just a combo. We just have Worn Power Stone here? <laughs> that rhymes, Margin. You know it. I like. I kind of like Doretti. I just made a peach and strawberry compote. I'm going to stick it in all the blender with some peanut butter and a ripe... That sounds delicious. Oh, my God. That sounds absolutely fantastic. I want to eat that compote. I think it's either warm power. Spellseeker doesn't seem great here. It only gets a braid or remand or chain lightning. Do we really want to play a fourth color? I don't think so. I also don't think it's power stone. God dang it. This pick is bad. I'll take Spellseeker. I don't think it's great. Oh, that's, that's, well, it's not great yet, but. It does give us both of the pieces, and if, if a Deceiver X Arc or a Splinter Twin, or a, um, not a Splinter Twin, the other one, a uh, Pestermite comes by, we're looking good. Thank you! Cabalan with the gifted sub, man! Thank you, my dude! Don't be upset -y. Have some spaghetti. Less depresso, more espresso. Badger's literally a poet. <sighs> this pack's pretty rough. Um... Is Gruel Signet better than... I mean, Gruel Signet seems fine here, right? It's either Gruel Signet or Mizium Orders. Actually, maybe Mizium Orders. Is... Mizium Orders is probably better. Like, we don't have anything that wipes all of the board, and Mizium Orders actually seems pretty easy to cast with Coalition Relic and lots of red fixing lands.
There it is. There's the Deceiver Exarch we were hoping for. Now we have Splinter Twin, Mikikiji, Resto, and Deceiver Exarch. Oh, yeah. I was actually going to take this Taiga because it makes our Golos easy, but... I kind of feel like we can take out Goblin. We can take out... D D oh, what? We're living the dream! We can also take out Through the Reach and Sneak Attack as, as of right now. Guys, we're doing it. Kiki, Splinter Twin, Resto, Deceiver, and p -Mite. That's wild. I like Elspeth Conquers Death a lot. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I think it's still Elspeth Conquers Death. I think we've. I think we can afford a double white card here, maybe. Wow, this deck went from a two-one deck to an O-three deck. Unfortunately, yes. Does having all those combo pieces even matter when you're going to draw lands anyway? No. No, it does not. None of these cards are exciting at all. Everflowing Chalice, perhaps? Wow, that's a late Fiery Confluence. Oh my god. Definitely taking that. Would love Needle Spires, but Fiery Confluence is just... Thank you! Bad magic player. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Nexus. Uh, if Chalice isn't actually a, uh, another target. I don't know if I care about that, though. I also don't care about Spellseeker, though, so I guess we can get, like, five things. <sighs> I'll take Mask Worm <laughs> for no real reason. <sighs> Overgrown Tomb is awkward. It's never a land we want to draw. This is our 23. Is Frantic Search just better than Sphinx's Rev? Hmm. Ba -doo -doo. Ba -doo -doo. Gruel Signet? Hmm. That's pretty decent. What do you think of the new Tron art? It's alright. I 
I don't like Tron as a set, so like, you know. So I'm just kind of like, get out of here. The panorama is sweet, but I don't think I don't like any of the individual pieces. I, oh, I don't think any of the individual pieces are. I, I agree with that actually. I think individually they're kind of mad, but I'll, when they're put together, I think it's sweet. Karen's box topper? Oh man, she probably wanted to return that to the store. She wanted to speak to the manager. I think our deck looks pretty sweet right here. Turning a Pestamite Deceiver, Banishing Light, Mizium Orders, Abraid, Remand, Fire Ice, Gruul, Signet, we have Splinter Twin, Chandra, Fiery, Rest Elspeth, Treachery. Yeah, I think this looks good. And like we have a good amount of Ramplay Coalition, Relic, Gruul, Signet, Soul Ring, Mock Sapphire, so. Let's play Blood Crypt just for. Um, the Golos. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably a little much. Let's go down to nine. Four. Arid Mesa cannot get a blue, unfortunately. So this is just five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten with Signet. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, nine. And then blue and white we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one more. Ooh, okay. Let's add one more mountain. Alright. May your opponents have terrible draws. Well, it would definitely be a first. This is the hand. This is the hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we get to like Sphinx's Rev for like at least four, maybe five if we hit another land. <sighs> Never mind. The best laid plans of mice and men. I'm off to socially distance watch Scoob. Scoob. In a neighbor's backyard. It's his son's birthday. I'm going to... J chart, have a good afternoon, buddy. Well, it's one of these two. Yeah, solid choice. Take away all my blue mana. It's pretty good. Was that Mike's Mice and Men quote? No, that was a real Mice and Men quote. Not a fictitious one that uh, was made up. Well, we'd like a blue source here. That is not a blue source.
So either him to Torok is coming or Mind Twist for two. Liliana. Yeah. Wow, this opening hand went from great to terrible based on one Inquisition. Can't deal any damage to Planeswalkers, right? No, okay. I mean, we're going to lose one card next turn anyway. Gristlebrand in the graveyard is kind of discouraging. I feel like, wow, this hand was, this hand was so good. We we're going to Sphinx is rough for four extra cards. We we're going to have all the mana colors we needed. Now they're just going to Necromancy their Gristlebrand. Cool. But you said necromancy. It was animate dead, stupid. Yep, it sure was. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> so, would have been good. Would have been good. I'm sure we'll draw treachery to go along with all those islands we don't have. Someone explain that. Hi, someone. Someone explain to me how we're not in a simulation. Explain that to me. Because you're going to have to sell me on us not being in a simulation rather than us being in a simulation at this point. <sighs> Badger, thank you for the gifted sub, my dude. Why do you have to be so great? Sure. Again, no blue, but, uh, you know, I assume it's in the deck somewhere. Not nearly as good of an opening hand, but okay. Yeah, all right. Yep. Because so many people are shit that I feel like I gotta make up for it. Well. That's a good reason. I mean, either take Pestermite or Fire Ice, I think. Fire Ice can kill this, so there's really no point in not taking it. Yep, makes sense. Guys, guys, we're, we're right there. I 
Keep in mind, we have not seen a single blue source in either game. Pretty sure we have about nine in the deck. You put any islands in your deck? No, I took out all the blue sources, including the mocks. Including the mock sapphire. Played into this is great, but we just have to have another mana for it, I guess. So, you know, seems good. <laughs> God fucking. That was super jarring. <laughs> that was super jarring. Sorry, guys. Yeah, Jitte seems great against Pestermite. We just need a land. One land, we get to kill Mesmeric Fiend and Jitte. So that's good. <laughs> Literally the only land in our deck that would come into play tapped. The absolute only land in our deck. That's... That's amazing. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm like blown away. Like, it's just mind-blowing to me. It just seems, it's almost like I, I, I'm i actually losing. I feel like I'm losing. This is how people go crazy and they have like, uh, they have breaks with reality and they start like imagining fictitious situations where like, I'm in a simulation and like, you know, uh, you know, like, it's just like, it's so weird, dude. It's so weird. I'm just like, wow, that was a perfect. Let's try again. Let's try it again. Put a charge counter on it right now. They sure can pump fiend. So I guess we can't. We have to kill Jitte and make them discard, I guess. I don't even think that's great. That's incredible. That's absolutely like it's just fucking incredible. Like we can deal this one, two, three, four. This is a seven, seven. <laughs> like they could just pump this twice, still have a counter, attack for three, and then five. Like 
No, they didn't. They only had one more counter on this. Dire Fleet doesn't do anything because, like, this is amazing. This match has been absolutely fucking incredible. <laughs> That's literally can't find. It's unbelievable, dude. How many blue stars are we playing? Like fucking nine. I said that. Sorry, you probably just didn't hear it. <laughs> Let's look. Uh, how can I view my deck? Deck. Uh, one, five, six, seven, plus relic, which is eight. So only eight, I guess. My bad. This hand seems bad. Hey, look, two sources of blue in the same game. I don't understand. Well, if I ever had a deck that probably had no no uh, no earthly uh, right to trophy, it's definitely this one. Fire ice, please. Fire ice, please. Fire. A braid seems. A braid will do the trick. This guy's got to go. What do we get? A plateau? Sure. So if, what is this? The Sultai deck with Rafelos. Interesting. Hmm. I think we do need a meditation stream once a week. Yep, that guy's pretty good. Wish I had one more land here so that I could steal it. I have one card in hand. I'm just gonna pass here. I'm gonna tap down uh, Primeval Titan during our turn. And then presumably we could win if we do that. 
So we can actually steal Primeval Titan, untap, and then play Kiki Juki just in case. Why not just throw land? Well, because they had like a lot of mana. <laughs> like they had one, two, three, four. They had five sources of mana before the Mox Diamond, right? So, I mean, keeping them from five to four just doesn't really. That don't impress me much. Oh, you mean this turn? Like, tap a land this turn? Because, again, like, it just doesn't do anything. Like, it's... If we don't win, I'd rather have six mana. I'd rather have, uh, you know... I'd rather them have two less lands and, and have, have six more life than them having one fewer lands. Like... Alright, now they have one card in hand. Now I'm going to feel real silly if they pay exactly 8 for Woodfall Primus. A green Sun for 7. Okay. So unless they get a 7 drop exactly again, feeling real silly. No, because they had... No, they had Arbor Elf that they could have used. So they had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So again, I just don't see the 1 mana as making a big difference. Ba -ba -ba baby just ain't seen nothing yet. Kiki Jiki ain't seen nothing yet. Bang, bang. Bang, 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 I wish I could stick this Ren and Six into this mask room, but I am also glad I didn't get slime for my land. But you know, you can't uh, can't win them all. Can't lose them all. Maybe, maybe that's what I should say. You can't lose them all. Ba -ba -ba baby you just ain't seen nothing yet I'm gonna go get a plateau with this guy do do how since Mike's not here to be honest how's he liking it he's not lying to you like he, he he's been enjoying the job he's had no complaints so far I like that you think like he's gonna tell you something different in chat dude Mike's not gonna lie about it Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Well... I wish I had a way to get rid of that. The person I got hired couldn't be in a professional environment. That seems more an issue with that person than the job itself. So I really don't think you... Uh... No, well, I mean, what I meant by that was I wish I had an abrade to use this turn. I do not have one to use this turn, unfortunately. I mean, I think we could just draw. We could just draw the Splinter Twin here and kill them, right? We cannot. We cannot. God, this is also awkward because we can't keep up this and a braid. Actually, I guess it's fine. If they go to play something, we can just force a negation it and then a braid in response. They're also gonna if they if they skull clamp, it wastes a mana. And then we don't have to worry about it. So let's do that. 
Plus, they just might not play anything, so. Break me off a piece of that. Fancy feast. I will take one. One, two, three, four. We have six mana, so if we hit seven, we can actually keep up Force and cast Splinter Twin. We're just going to keep passing here. Hydroid Crassus for two? Sure. We have an opening. Draw a card. Oh, ho, 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 we love it. You love to see it. Oh, man. Wild. Wild. All right. Well, that's not it. <laughs> we got Deceiver Exarch, Force of Negation, and Splinter Twin in this hand. This is a wild hand if we get lands. We're not keeping it, but that I'll keep. <sighs> Let's get rid of Daredevil here. This is good. Actually... Yeah, it's got to be Daredevil. Daredevil is dependent on their cards. Everything else is just good for us. Man, it's almost like if I brought if I draw blue sources, I get to play my spells and do well in games. I'm gonna get a free remand here. That's pretty good. Did you walk Mike yet today? No, not yet. Daredevil can't see what they will have. Wow. Wow. I guess that's true. Oh boy. Well, that's fiery confluence. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Well, that's... Unimpressive.
All right, I need one more land. No, I don't want to fire an Isis guy because Fire Confluence does the same thing if we draw more land. Like, I can just take a hit and then... So much fire. Like, this feels like a tinker to me because they have two artifact sources here. And it's one of the few reasons to play Porcelain Legionnaire. In my estimation. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, I don't think we need to ice them either. Like, we just, I just take the damage. Like, I'm at 20. The card is nice, but I think there's a little more use for the versatility here. Yeah, that'll do pig. Oh. Oh, one more red source, my dudes. Uh, two to an opponent. But the baby, you just ain't seen nothing yet. I mean, we could have just played Resto for, for no value, blocked the Porcelain Legionnaire. And then if we hit any land, we could Kiki Jiki. But this is nice. I wanna get a red man. Yeah, that seems fine. This is all fine. None of this stuff is really super affecting us. Land. Chain lightning. I mean, I kind of like chain lightning here fire both of these but like I think we're due for any land so maybe we just play resto I don't think we're blocking like I, if we block it's already taking two and one so any one damage whatsoever kills uh, kills resto So they could just play Gar Gargadon again. Gar Gargaroth? Greater Elder Gargaroth? Gargaroth? Gargadon? Big Gargs? The land you draw will be Fumeral, buddy. I know it. Oh, boy. Okay. Well... We're not dead. All right, any land off the top except for Wandering Fumeral.
I'm just gonna kill this dude. Keep up fire ice. Keep up ice. We're gonna tap down the savannah, I guess. I mean, if they play like Questing Beast, we want to tap that thing down, I guess. And I hope they just don't have four points of burn or a way to deal with Resto. Those are just my hopes. <laughs> Somebody have Wooded Foothills on hand. Don't care about that thing. Ice it. Ice it good. Into shape. Shape it up. Let's see if we chose correctly. Kapow! Oh, we just win. Whoa! Man, Splinter Twin's a hell of a combo. If you hit your friggin' lands! Oh, <sighs> God. This is seems like a decent seven cards. Come on, remand. Remand me one time. That gets a soul ring. I'm gonna cast this because we might want to overraid. So one, two, three, Trinket Mage, Soul Ring, can't cast Soul Ring. We could also just play Coalition Relic next turn. Which is Okay, no lands in the yard. Probably just going to play Trigger Mage now to get a body on the board. Get the bodies on the board. Soul Ring is a hell of a card. You ain't joking. <laughs> Let's just get a plateau here. See, the thing is, we could play. If we played Coalition Relic here, we could play Treachery next turn, which is nice, but. In engineering terms, the human walk is an interrupted fall, as it involves us tipping off balance and to the side to create... That's interesting. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. So we should be able to keep it... So we should be able to tap in such a way that we get to keep a 
braid up, right? So we can just go blue soaring. These two for relic, and yeah, that seems great. This is why I don't invite engineers. This is why I would invite engineers. I want to hear all of these interesting facts. So I know they have, what, wooded verdant catacombs in hand? Sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Create a food token. Well, we have a sweet a braid and treachery in hand. They're playing mono planeswalkers here. But I charge counter. Come on, Sphinx's Revelation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me draw six cards. Chain Lightning's not the worst. I mean, we're definitely trying to kill Oko here. That guy's the real problem. God, the string image is doing some work, man. I forgot to play a land. Seems fine. Yeah, I mean, we definitely have some time. I mean, Ren and Six Ultimate seems fine. Like they don't have any, they don't have any instant sorceries in their graveyard. I'm more worried about Oko, you know, existing, than I am about the Ren and Six Ultimate. Okay, so that's the thing. Let's do that. Now we're just going to hit run in six. Oh, but they have this stupid stirring wildwood now. That's annoying. And even if we kill it with like a braid, they can just get it back next turn, so. <sighs> Wildwood is a 3 4.
And this Verdant Catacombs is getting them a lot of action. But they're literally not doing anything, which is kind of hilarious. Actually, I kind of like that a lot. Say blue, doesn't matter, we're just gonna waste it. Oh, they didn't block. Fascinating. We have several good cards in our hand. See, that's a good one, too. That's one I don't care about. Interesting. Why aren't they why didn't they skull clamp this guy? I don't think we're going to use medium orders on this guy. There we go. Ice him down. Huh. Pretty good. Is that a thing we want to use? Fire Confluence doesn't do anything to run in six. Kills Avison's Pilgrim, though. Who cares about that? I don't know. I mean, we can Mortar plus Confluence, but what does that do? Like, Mortar kills this by itself, so we don't need Confluence. Uh, destroying Artifact. I'm just tempted to kill these three. Or like this, this, and this. Confluence can't kill Ren and Six in any way, shape, or form, no. The food doesn't do much, but like... I'd rather get this off the board than the skull clamp, so. Two damage to each opponent, destroy one artifact, one damage to each creature, sure. But the damage to them doesn't do anything either, so. I mean, they can just get this back with Ren and Six next turn. They just plus Ren and Six get this back. It doesn't do killing these doesn't do really anything except for take them off a of mana. But it might still be better than not doing that. So, I mean, it's either like use Mizium Mortis to get rid of these two permanents, use Fire to get rid of these two permanents. I think Mizium is just better here because it does mean they have to spend a turn putting this back into play. 
and they have no permanents on board to skull clamp which i don't know why they didn't skull clamp last turn two extra cards seems really good so This game is fast paced and exviting. It's true. All right, now we got a mox. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. And we know they have wild wooden hand. Wood. F huh. Yeah, that's actually fine. You just negative three. I guess that gets rid of Ren and six, which is fine. Yep, that's what we figured you'd do. Let's just put a charge counter on here. You get an Oko back, but we also get uh Rotary Run and Six, so Yes, we could steal Ravine, and then as soon as it goes back to their turn, it's no longer a creature, so. What's the hold up here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They don't have. Are they trying to think of, like, make, will they make a guy into a thing? I don't know what's going on. Just made another food, all right. Dire Fleet Daredevil gets nothing. Well, biscuits. Fiery Confluence. We're just going to kill three artifacts here. One, two, three. Whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have access to ten mana. Treachery would be great here. <laughs> oh, boy. Well-grown friend, he's talking about you. What?
Three damage to this, huh? Okay, you got it. Yeah, they also have four cards in hand. So, like, it's really weird that they're only playing things I can't deal with. Sure. Is that bait? Nobody knows. Well, we have eight. We have eight mana. I guess they're going to turn this into a thing, though, so it's not going to really... Yeah, this is, like, this is awkward. Did I say eight mana? I meant six mana. No, now we need more than that because they just kill Kiki Jiki. So I'm pretty sure we actually can't win this game. If they play a creature and we steal it, they get to turn it into a 3 3 and kill it. Like, this isn't actually a fucking insane, ridiculous combo. I'm just going to go to the next. No, we can play it out. Oh, so they just kill my blocker and then attack me for a million. Sure. Cool. Yep, this has been a good game. They played absolutely nothing. Spellseeker cannot get treachery. Oh, you mean take out treachery? I mean, we saw like Elder Gar like we saw a, a, at least one good creature in the first game. I think treachery is just too good to take. Like Spellseeker gets an Abrade. I got more times to just bring in Dark Dwellers for something. I mean, like we had a ton of stuff. We had Elspeth could have been good. Um, Force of Negation would have been great. I mean, Dire Fleet Daredevil seems pretty bad. Yeah, clearly they're not playing creatures of treacheries in my hand. Solid point.
Hmm. Well, we have a combo in hand. This guy gets Mox or Sol Ring. Wow. Mox Jet, eh? No second land. Oh, boy. Can we get a third land? That'd be wonderful. Didn't think so. That would have been really good because we could play Trinket Mage into, like, Mox, still keep up Force of Negation. <sighs> well... What can you do? I just want to remand something, guys. Fascinating. <laughs> what an absolute fucking joke. <laughs> oh, wow. That's incredible, dude. Pitch Golos, because... <sighs> 15, 16 lands of Mox, a Sol Ring. Shut up and take my money. Splinter twin. Emotional support lurk bug. Josh, I love you, buddy. Hello, my dear. Guys, it's Katie and I's one year anniversary. Happy happy one year anniversary, my love. Unfortunately, you have caught the magic fun times here. Where you don't get to draw lands. Alright, well. We have to exile Pestermite in order to force some negation here, which might not be great. Wow. Happy birthday, Kate. It's not it's not a it's not a it's not a birthday. Well, they didn't hit a land either, so. Bread source. Well, white source is actually I accept, I think, uh, maybe a little bit too. Well, everything's double red, so we're gonna use the red to cast this. Which means we can either play Resto, Force, or Pestermite here. And now we're kind of in a situation where like any red source. <laughs> Happy relationship birthday. See, that's pretty funny. Nature's claim. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just play Rust out here. Not going to blink this guy because we don't have anything to get. So I'd rather just deal the two damage, just in case we're going beat down. And now I'd, I'm not too concerned with... Well, I'm still concerned with Splinter Twin. We're two red away from this. We're only one red away from this, which means this is more likely to win us the game with this. And you cannot Splinter Twin a Resto, unfortunately. That... Interesting. Uh, no. <laughs> That's fine. Shut up and take my money. One for one year of anniversary. One anniversary, Buck. Nice. Preach. This doesn't work the way they think it works. 
if a non-token creature went under the battlefield like we're we're playing token creatures like I, I did this too i made this mistake as well Oh yeah, if they were trying to prevent us from blinking Trinket Mage, that makes sense, but that was never what we were going to do. Just wait till your 500th anniversary. Oh yeah, $500 from the Chaos Theory. Yeah, no, I'm not, this isn't really where you want me, no. No, I don't like this. God, we have so much artifact removal in our deck of braid, fiery confluence. I, we just can't let this resolve. They equip it here. If we block here, they kill this. They always have a Jitte on board. Like, Pestermite is worthless in hand if they have a Jitte on board, so I'd rather just not let them have a Jitte on board. Kiki Jiki is worthless on board with a Jitte, so. Sure. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, you can still combo with Kiki Resto. We just can't combo with Splinter from Resto. Chandra will actually provide double red for us if we are able to... You know, do that. If we could just draw a red source off the top, which we have like nine of in the deck... Come on, red source, red source, red source. There's a bottom red source. Oh. Pay old Shandy. Yeah. Let's, let's get rid of this. I don't need you to have no seven mana next turn. And Chandra can take four, or we can just block the Containment Priest, which I don't think they're going to be attacking with. What round is this? This is round three, my dear. So I'll probably uh, cease any future, any future drafts until later. Fly me to the moon. Do we get to combo off? In other words, combo true. Do, 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 do. Actually, let's see, use like white. Maybe we should have kept. Now we can keep Force of Negation up. Copy this resto. Blink this idiot. That'll do. 2-1. Losing only to our own mana in round one. Thank you guys for watching. Slim those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankform, manatraders.com, coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday, and uh, patreon.com slash frankleport. It's a great way to support the channel for one dollars a month. And also, freshly brewed, the podcast study with Rob. You can find it every week wherever podcasts are downloaded and listened to, so check that out. Uh, the priest would not stop the combo. Priest stops non-token creatures. The creatures you're making with Kiki Jiki are tokens. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, I think you guys don't know how Containment Priest works. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Alright, so for those still watching, uh, one thing. People were saying that Kiki Jiki wouldn't work. Uh, and it wouldn't, actually, because Resto would blink this... And it wouldn't come back because of the Containment Priest. Um, so what we could have done is shot this with with Chandra and then used one, two, three, four, five, six, our natural, the natural mana that we had to play to play Kiki. We still had the win. We just uh we just did it the wrong way. And uh Containment Priest would have actually stopped it had our opponent not scooped. So pretty hilarious. Pretty
pretty hilarious. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you this time. I'll actually see you next time.